Nart podcast show. How can you tell if someone is demon possessed? Recognizing the difference between a person who is possessed and a person struggling with mental illness or other infirmity is a vital part of the ministry of exorcism, according to a long time exorcism priest, Father Tiprainio de Mio, who had been exorcist since 1952, told the CNA's Italian agency, ACI Stamper, they typically a person not possessed, but is struggling with some sort of illness. <coughs> Key part of telling a difference, he said, is through his sermon in a prayer of the part, on the part of the exorcist and the possessed. In a partially, potentially possessed person, reaction to the exorcist himself, and the prayer being said. The exorcist will typically say prolonged prayer to the point where his adversary is present. There's a reaction, he said. A possessed person has a very general attitude towards an exorcist who is seen by a street as an enemy ready to fight him. Father Di Mayo described the unsettling reaction that a possessed person usually has detaining a common response for an exorcist prayer. There's no lack of frightening facial expressions, threatening words or gestures and other things, he said, but especially blasphemies against God and Our Lady. Catechism of the Catholic Church emphasizes the importance of distinguishing between demonic activity and a mental illness. From the paragraph 1673, exorcism is a direct, directed at the expulsion of demons or the liberation from demonic possession. For the spiritual authority which Jesus has trusted to his church, illness, especially for ecological illness, is a very different matter. Treating this is the concern of the medical science. Therefore, before an exorcism is performed, it's important to assess to discern that one is dealing with the presence of one, an evil one and not an illness. <coughs> in January of 19, in April 19 of 2015, Vatican Corp. Congregation of the Clergy and the St. Tridras Institute hosted a cinema at Rome's Riga Astrologium University specifically aimed at training priests and lay people in spotting the differences between psychological problems and the medic procession. The conference included interventions from a wide range of experts in the field of exorcism, including practicing exorcists, medical professionals, psychologists, lawyers and theologians. Dr. D- Father Dr. D. Mayo always also emphasized that not all case is of possession of going to look the same, which is why it's so important that exorcists go through rigorous training. He's up to the priest serving this his ministry how to deal with the case by the will of God with love and humility, he said. For this reason for my my British operation for thirteen years I led a school for exorcists. I tried to be especially prepared those who aren't beginning in this ministry, he said. However, even for cases of dominant question are not common as cases as psychological illness. Most people are too unaware and unfamiliar with spiritual realities, he said. In 2014, the International Association of Exorcists called the rise of occult activity as pastoral emergency. It usually starts out as ignorance, so virtually stupidity or polarizing activity revisiting just watching. A.E. Pers- spokesperson Dr. Walter Cass Coley told CNA at the time, the consequences are always disastrous. Father Di Mario said that people often turn to chatter of musicians and illusionists for answers rather than the weapons the Lord has just put at our disposal. While people often speak, seek medical answers or signs, there's Best defence against demonic possession is simple. The sacramental life prayer, the priest said, it's absolutely fundamental to get rid of sin and life, live in the grace of God, he said. 
church, in fact, once a life, life of prayer, but just as a part of the priest, but also a member of the faithful, asking for the intervention of the exodus. It benefits the whole of the family members as well, the exodus explained. The car cat at Techism offers further guidance to how to avoid demonic activity. Anything that involves recourse to Satan or demons or that attempts to conjure the dead was real several events is to be rejected. From the CTZ paragraphs two one one six Consulting her horographs, astrology, palm reading, inter- interruption of omens and lots of phenomena of clairvoyance, recourse to mediums all conceal desire of power over time. <laughs> History and last analysis over other over other human beings as well as to reach to consolate hidden powers to contradict the honour respect and loving fear that we owe to the God alone. As the exorcists themselves it's important to remain humble and to, and to remain remember that their power comes from Christ, Father Dimon added, regarding spiritual preparation, humility and conviction that we exorcists aren't the ones who are going to cast out the demons that's fighting Christ. We are called to the fight on behalf of Christ. Dear Catholic News Agency Reader, We know that the content you've been reading has increased your knowledge of the cultural, political and spiritual matters that affect your life and learnings of millions of Catholics. We often hear from old it is how difficult it is to find trustworthy sorts of news. In today's media, well, oh, oh. So they are trust the Catholic news agency not